All right, Shalom. Mr. Brother from GMS Herb Klein here back from another video. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory, glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rekar Kodash, double honors to the Apostles and Elders, the great millstone of teaching, and form percent truth, according to Bible rule well, in peace and blessings so for the elect of the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of by Shema Shai, and we'll get into the Lord's will and the final lesson. You know, all the spirit. <coughs> On, uh, you know, uh, through Jake's uh, unbelief, you know, through their uh, uh, inability to believe in the scriptures, you know, it's going to cause them to be left here in Babylon the Great, while those who were faithful unto Yah by Shema Shai, who believed, who were given that gift of faith, well, they're going to be caught up in the clouds, you see, and they're going to be uh, abducted by the chariots of Israel and be saved, you see, and uh, be the first fruit unto the kingdom of heaven, uh, which will be established here upon the earth. That's that new Jerusalem, you know, coming down from heaven. Jude chapter 1 verse 5, I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. How that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. You see, so the Lord, He delivered his, his 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 people, the children of Israel. You see, out of the land of Egypt. You see, but uh, uh through uh Jake's uh disobedience. You see, through their inability. You know, to believe that Yahweh, that he is, the Most High took him out, you see? And in this time, the Lord is going to save those who have been given this gift of faith. You see, he's not going to spend the time, uh, spend uh, time delivering the unfaithful, but he's just going to straight up deliver the faithful and the unfaithful, the wicked doers are going to be, uh, uh, destroyed Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 for by grace are you saved through faith now grace you know really because this thing is uh predestinated uh preordained so Yahweh Shema Shai has gifted uh his remnant you know those who he has allotted for uh salvation just as he's allotted uh Jake's for uh, 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 you know, death and destruction, like it tells you in Thessalonians, these are they uh, uh, who are preordained to this condemnation. You see, for by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves, is the gift of the Most High. So through the gift of uh, Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know we are uh, able. To be saved, we are able to, uh, uh, we have a chance of salvation, you see? Wow. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the understanding of things hoped for, you see? So, we, we have a clear, we have a substance, we have an understanding of things that are that things that are expected, you see, we believe that uh, through our obedience in Yahweh by Shema Shai, found the ways of the Lord that these things are going to lead to our salvation. You see, the evidence of things not seen, you see, and the evidence is here in the scriptures, you know, and there are things not seen. As of yet, you see, we can't see uh, these uh, planets that Yahweh Shai, you know, said that he was going to prepare for us. You see, we can't see <coughs> our enemies under our feet, you know, under subjection. But we, but in all of that, we believe, you see, because we've been given that gift of faith. This is Romans chapter 8. Verse 24, for we are saved by hope. Hope is that expectation, you see, going back to that faith. The, uh, you know, having a good understanding, you see, which that it comes through us 
believing, be given the Holy Spirit. You see, uh, to believe on this word. Let me get that real quick. Was that St. John chapter 14, verse 17? Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. So the spirit of truth. <coughs> uh, uh, you know, Jake cannot receive it. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shai has blinded them, you see. But he has imparted, you know, his Holy Spirit upon his remnant to give them hope, to comfort them in these times, you see. Romans chapter 8, verse 24 for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. You see, and that's the problem with the our, uh, the wicked doers of our people, you know, who don't believe. They want to see the proof. Well, the proof is in the scriptures, you see, but your inability to uh to not be able to believe on this on the scriptures is going to lead to your condemnation. Because the scriptures say that we are going to reign in the world to come. And those who have been given the eyes out to see these things, these things are made clear unto us. You see? This is a, a um, this is Proverbs chapter 8 and 9. They are all plain to him that have understanding. And write to them that find knowledge. So the ways of Yahweh Shema Shai, the Lord's plans, are made plain unto us. Because why? We've been given this, uh, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, which allows us to understand these scriptures. You see, the Lord is supping with us, and uh, you know He set up teachers to break down these scriptures to us, which has given us hope. Uh, Romans 8 and 24 for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why do if he yet hope for but if we hope for that we see not then do we patience with patience wait for you see and that is a part of us following the Lord in us bearing our cross and believing the things that are said, believing that there is a war coming. St. John 14 and 1, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, you know, that's dealing with uh, different planets, you see, and you have these Edomite scientists, they'll come out and say how they found, you know, just in uh, uh, the Big Dipper, you know, uh, I can't, uh, uh, you know, you have the Big Dipper, I believe, you know, brothers can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's the Big Dipper, you know, pretty much Esau was looking into a small part of the heavens, you know, the outer space, and he's seeing planets being formed, plants, you know, which are likened onto earth, you know, and better, you see, and that's what Yahweh Shai, you know, that's what's being prepared for us, you see, it says, I, if it were not so, I would have told, I, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And that's our faith. Yahweh Shai, in order for you to believe this saying, you have to have faith. You have to have that foresight to believe. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. Uh, in what Yahweh Shah has given us a job to do, you know, in the meanwhile, you see, before he returns to, to push his word out, 
you see, to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And whether... That was the point. This is on Romans chapter 8. Uh, we finished that one. Hebrew, let's lock it back in Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So without the ability, the ability to believe in 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 Yahweh by Shema Hashai, believe in the scripture, the things that are written, you know, it then becomes impossible to please Yahweh by Shema Hashai. This is um Romans fourteen and twenty two. Has thou faith? Have it to thyself before the Most High. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the thing that he alloweth, and he that doubteth is damned if he eat. And that's what our people do. They doubt the power of Yahweh by Shema they, 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 they doubt that Yahweh Shai is going to make a second return. You see, uh, that he's going to take down our enemies. They doubt these things. You see? Because they are looking at the, the things that are seen. You see, this, the scriptures talk about how the just, the righteous, shall live by their faith. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. So when you eat this word, when you digest it, when you learn of Yahweh Shai in these scriptures, you must uh, mingle it with faith. You see? Because he either if not a faith, for whatsoever is not a faith is sin. So if you aren't mixing this thing with with faith, you are, and you don't have faith, you are committing sin. And we know that the wages of sin lead on to death. You see, and the Lord's not dealing with uh those who are willfully sinning or just sinning and not, you know, uh, repenting, you see. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that's what Yahweh means. You see, he is, or he to be, the existing one. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see, so the Lord is going to reward those who diligently seek him, who have faith. You see, uh, with a kingdom. You see, with, with the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. We're going to bring a couple more scriptures. We're going to go ahead and close it out. This is uh, James chapter um, We'll go straight to the point. James chapter 2 verse 18. Yea, a man may say that thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith. Show me what you believe in without thy works, without any works, without putting any, uh, you say that you want to be a, a millionaire, you see, but you're not, you don't, what, 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 what are you doing to become a millionaire? You know, what are the proper steps? You see, same thing with us. We, uh, we have faith that Yahweh Shai is going to come back, establish a kingdom that we believe in Yahweh by Shema Shai. Well, how are you proving? Are you uh, reading? Do you pray to the Lord? You see, are you are you fasting? Are you uh, doing videos? Are you uh, uh, paying tights? Are you doing these things to prove that you actually believe in Yahweh Shimon Shai? Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith. By my works, and that's what the sincere men, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, are doing, you know. And the men on down, we're showing that we believe in Yahweh by Shemel Shai by going out there on the highways and byways, making our bodies a living sacrifice. You see, uh, you know, being charitable, praying to the Lord. You see, we're showing our faith by the things that we are doing down here on this earth. This is Second Ezra 15 and 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You see? So you being unfaithful. You know, let me read. Uh, I want to get this one scripture real quick. Let me read verse 3. 
This is a uh, uh, second letter, fifteen three. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. The incredulity is your inability to believe. So you not being able to believe on this thing, you know, you scoffing and, uh, 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 you know, scorning, you know, uh, 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 you know, we are not letting those things trouble us. You see? Well, uh... Let me look for the scripture. We're going to close out on this. This is a, what is it, 40? Um, I thought it was 31. Mm, let me just... Let me just look at that real quick. Matthew's 25. Yep, that's, that's one. That's, um... I wonder where it says, uh, Come in here, uh, good and thou faithful servant, uh, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. Um, found... But, um, yeah, there it is. This is, um, Matthew chapter 20, 25, verse 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, which is his elect, you see, the sheep, the sheep, the, uh, his, the, uh, the, these are they which follow the lamb, wheresoever he goeth, you see, come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of, of the world, you see, and these were the faithful servants of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, who believed on his name, you see. But Lord is the only lesson of that if I'm going to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Makar Kodash, double honors to the Apostle and the Great Millstone for teaching us more percent truth according to the Bible well, and peace and blessings so flood to the nation of Israel. Next time I want to say, Shalom.